module two. We will go through each of the elements in multimedia such as text, image and audio in this module. So we will cover three topics and at the end of each topic, you have to complete several module activities to earn your second batch for this module. So let's start. Let's see what is the definition of text. Text is a very important component used in multimedia application and they are characters that are used to create words, sentence and paragraph. These characters compose of alphabetic uh, and numeric, for example, letter A to Z and also uh, number 0 to 9. These are, they are used to create information. In text also, we have a special character such as punctuation, signs or symbols that you can see in the notes here. These are also considered as a text data type. Okay, and the text contains information with a meaning. So that is a very important um, point that you, uh, you need to understand. Now let's see the examples of text usage in multimedia application. First, in um, our daily life, okay, we are using mobile applications such as WhatsApp, Telegram, uh, to communicate via texting and messaging. Okay, second one is the email. Instead of using the traditional way, uh, writing a letter, we are using the digital way we, where we use the email to communicate with a long distance, uh, but a very fast response. Okay, and uh, in social media, Okay, for example, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter, okay, uh, we are using text to define something, to explain something, or to share information, okay. And in the World Wide Web itself, okay, besides we can see the various um, usage of text in websites to convey a uh, information to share the knowledge okay we use the text as the input to search information as well okay so these are the example of text usage in multimedia application okay so uh, now let's see uh, the characteristic of the text itself first of all is typeface a typeface is a family of graphic character that usually includes many type sizes and styles for example this form of graphics is example of aerial typeface okay and under aerial typeface there are many other fonts um, that are different type size and styles now let's see the next characteristic which is font Font is a collection of characters of a single size and style that belong to a particular typeface family. For example, here we have Arial typeface family. And under the Arial typeface family, we have four fonts. Okay, As you can see here, the very general Arial, Arial black, which have a different uh, style, which is bold. Okay, We have Arial narrow. You can see how the size is very narrow. And we have another font is Arial Unicode and F, MS, where the style is, uh, the size is more bigger and the style is quite different, but still in the same style or graphic of Arial. Okay. To attract a viewer attention, we can style the text in a various way. Uh, sometimes we use the style to emphasize something or for some purpose of wording usage. Let's see the examples of the style in the notes. Okay, we have case, 
for the case, we have the upper case and a lower case. For the upper case is for the capital letter and the lower case is for lower case letter. Okay, we have also bold, italic, which is the slanting, um, quite slanting uh, style of uh, font. We have underline. We have superscript or subscript. Okay, the superscript or subscript usually we use for the mathematical equations. Okay, we have embossed or shadow. We can colors colors the font. Okay. Uh, or the text and we also have a, a strike through uh, style okay these are examples of style that we can apply to the text it is important for you to know the standard size in creating multimedia application for a reading material and for the content section, it is advised to use from the range 9 to 12 points, okay? And for the titles or for the subtitles, you are encouraged to use typically 14 points or greater. And it is important for you also to use a size, a correct size for the application that you create based on the audience. For example, if you have a elderly audience for your application, you are advised to use a greater size besides using the standard size. Okay, so let's see the three basic general typeface where we have the serif, sans serif and decorative. For the serif typeface, most of the family of this serif typeface, they have the additional decorative at the end of each of the points here. Okay, compared to the sans serif, they have no decorative at the end of each point. And for the decorative uh, typeface, most of them have an extra uh, decoration at the a specific uh, character of the uh, typeface okay so from here hopefully you can see clearly the differentiate between the serif fonts and also sans serif font maybe you can uh, google and look into the um, examples of uh, serif fonts so you may look into uh, some of the examples in serif fonts include Times New Roman, German, Baskerville, Georgia, and Korean New. Okay, besides for the sans serif fonts, you may check into uh, this group of fonts. For example, we have Arial, Helvetica, Verdana, Tahoma, Prozima Nova, okay, Futura, Calibri, and others. Okay. So, uh, by uh, look into this example, okay, you may see the differentiate between uh, both more clearly. So, it is very important for you to know which is uh, the suitable font for your design in multimedia project. For example, for the sans serif uh, font, is show more stability and direct to the main objective, clean, and look more professional. That's why uh, most of the professional look, we will use this kind of sans serif instead of serif font. So it depends in how you design the theme of the whole project uh, and to select which is the suitable and suit uh, font for your multimedia application. There are uh, various examples here, uh, do and don'ts in implementing uh, text in design our multimedia project. So we have two uh, paragraphs here, which the first one is using the certified font, which is a serif typeface. Another one is using the PT sand font, which is the sans serif typeface. As you can see, we compared both 
the sans serif font is much more easier for us to read compared to the serif font. Therefore, you must avoid using the serif font in creating your content or in the content section uh, of your multimedia project. As you can see here, we have two different line height in this paragraph, even though the difference only four points, but you can see in the line height 24 points, the paragraph is not too compact compared to the line height 20 points. So it is important for you to have a uh, a small space between each of the line in order to make the paragraph is not too compact or compressed. So this is one of the tips that you need to consider in creating your multimedia project. Next is the usage of the style in text. You are advised not to use all caps in the content or for the paragraph. Use the upper and lower case based on the sentence uh, purpose, okay? So, uh, the all caps are advisable only used for a title or subtitle. It is for important to you to structure your design based on the text size, okay? For the title, usually we use the biggest uh, text size followed by the subtitle and then for the others important information we can use a smaller size but for the content make sure you use the same size from the beginning until the end okay so as you can see here there are different uh, look and feel when we are use the correct structure of the text size compared to the uh, this one the at the left one where we did, didn't use the same uh, structure of the text size okay so make sure uh, you are using the correct way in uh, selecting the text size in your design that's all for the text elements in multimedia. Thank you. See you in the next topic.